Okay, so I have a gentleman here who presented with a chief complaint of swelling involving his elbow. Really has no pain, has good range of motion, painless uh, range of motion. He, um, he noticed this soft tissue mass when he just went to put his elbow down on an arm of a chair and felt kind of a swishy sensation. So what do you think he's got going on? Well, his diagnosis is a non-septic olecranon bursitis. So there's no erythema, there's no warmth, he's got a painless uh, range of motion, but he has um, a little extra elbow, as I like to right. say, <laughs> hanging on there. Buddy. <laughs> it's his buddy. We like to get rid of his buddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and aspirate the olecranon bursa, um, and then inject a little cortisone into the area, and then put a compression dressing on it. So it's really important when you, after you aspirate, you need to inject at least 40 milligrams of Kenalog. And then even more important, you need to put a compression dressing on it for two weeks. I like a neoprene elbow sleeve. Uh, they need to wear it 24 seven except for personal care or a lot of times the fluid will come back. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead, we've already uh, prepped this area. I'm going to, a little pinch and burn, sorry. Um, and then you're gonna see this fluid come out. And usually the Olecranon Bursa fluid is a, it's usually a little bit of a red tinge fluid. Um, no sign of any purulent material. You can already see how the, the Bursa is decompressing here. Um, so sometimes it can be loculated, so I'm just making sure I'm getting all the areas. Then I'm gonna swap needles, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the steroid right here. Great. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get a Band-Aid and put a compression dressing on him. This is the neoprene elbow sleeve I like. You can just slide right onto the patient's uh, elbow versus using an ACE wrap, which they would have to wrap around and have someone help them. And this is just a close-up of the fluid. This is pretty classic. It's uh, slightly blood tinged. It's not thick. It's rather thin. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit right here so you can see this fluid come out. Very thin fluid. So um, this is classic fluid that we see with a non-septic olecranon bursa, bursitis. Now, if it comes out at purulent material, then the treatment changes somewhat. So if you think they have a septic bursitis, the elbow would be warm, it would be hot to touch, it would be red in color, I would then pull out the fluid, do not put in a cortisone injection, no steroid, send that for culture, sensitivity, and cell count, um, because that most likely is infected. Start them on an oral antibiotic, and then send them to your friendly orthopedic surgeon uh, right away to be seen. Make sure you get the culture before you start the antibiotic. If you start the antibiotic before you get the culture, many times the cultures won't grow anything. So it really helps us to determine what type of antibiotic to put the patient on when we can get a culture and sensitivity and cell count.